Hey YouTube, I'm about to pimp my lift on K Crew. This is a girl that's been at Base Gym last week. She came as a special guest. She's been hanging out with my girls, which is the Base Body Babes, who work with me at Base Gym. And they invited her to come back today, which is gonna be her last day in Australia before she goes away to Canada. And she wanted to bench press. So that means she's gonna be training with me. And that means I'm gonna be pimping her lift for you guys and she doesn't know it yet but i'm sure she will be a good sport about it so why don't you guys check out how i teach someone my bench press technique this is someone who i've never seen train before so uh, it'll be good for you guys to see how i break down i don't know if she's going to be good or not maybe she uses my technique already but you guys are going to find out now check it out hey guys i'm here with katie crew she's <laughs> come, here, come here on the weekend to hold her own seminars but she's uh, I've been very lucky to have her here at Base Gym today and she wants to do a bench press session. So, I don't know what, how she bench presses, I don't know, all I've been told that she's, her best is 145 pounds, something like that for one rep. Um, and we talk in, in one reps here as well, so it's a safe zone. <laughs> and um, I thought I'd get her in here and see exactly what she does. And if she's doing everything perfectly, my job is to let her do everything perfectly. But if there's some way that I can help or pimp her lift, that's what we're going to do today. So come and check it out. The very first thing that I do is get her to lay down on a bench and show me what she does. Because if it's perfect, I ain't changing a thing. Alright, so, on the spot now, Katie. You good? <laughs> yes. Alright. Yes. Okay, I'll help on right for you as well. Okay, ready, set, up. Okay, let's just go about six reps. Uh, my rack's in the way, but keep going, keep going, keep going. Very good. So, in my opinion, that's a very nice bench press, but it's not the way that I do it. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I, the way that I see that is that's a it's kind of a conservative setup, and I'm a little bit more aggressive with my setup. Okay, so um, actually very good coordination. Uh, what I mean by that is your shoulder position was good, your chest position was good, your spine position was good, your feet were very flat, but we're not using them very much. Right. So I'm gonna get you to position your feet so that you can use them to drive that bench up a little bit better. So, let's do this, sit at the edge of the bench. Yeah, so when you sit at the edge of the bench, you're gonna lay down, so that's the way that you sit so that you're not gonna bang your head on the bar. Okay, lay down. Cool, slide back so your head's off the bench. All the way, 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 all the way. Grab the bar exactly where you were before. Go, bring your feet back. Get up onto the balls of your feet. Um, that's probably a little bit too far. Uh, about there. Good. Now, from here, I want you to think about pushing your heels down. Relax. Just, just relax everything and push your heels down gently. Good. Now, keep this downwards pressure through your heels and slide towards me. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, going. keep pushing your heels down. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Good. Now, pull your shoulders back and down towards your back pockets. Good job. And keep them there the whole time. Good. Keep pushing your heels downwards. Keep pushing your heels down. Take a big breath and hold your breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Good. Now imagine you're lowering the bar of your chest by pulling the bar apart. So outwards pressure on that bar through your hands. Heels down. Let's go. Keep holding your breath. And straight up. So you exhaled, which is okay. It's just my way I like to hold the breath through the entire set. Three, two more. Heels down, heels down, so just keep the shoulders back and down. Two more. Very good. One more. Here's the answer. Okay, go. How does that feel? Tight, but good. Good. So, yes. so in my world, tight is a good thing. Tight means strong. And loose equals weak. Yeah. So, so a lot of the times when I ask someone for their feedback, I don't expect it to be comfortable. Right, no. Hey, because it's not comfortable. <laughs> uh, comfortable is laying at home on the couch with beer in your hand or a glass of wine, whatever you prefer. Um, <laughs> this is not comfortable, but tight is a word that I do like to hear because tight is exactly what I want out of this bench press. <clears throat> We're gonna go up. Okay. The tightness that you feel when you do this for the first time is usually here, your hip flexors and your quadriceps. Uh, those quadriceps are hip flexors, so that's I'm putting them at a, at, at a full stretch position. Yeah. Um, so this is I'm just talking about back position. I never work through pain, so I asked Katie if it hurt her, and the answer was 
No, uh, and it was tight. So that is to be expected with this technique. Um, what I'm ultimately after is the scapular position. So the shoulder blades need to be back and down throughout the entire movement. So do that now, so squeeze them back and down. So naturally she arched just by doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's called a false couple relationship. For the shoulder blades to move the way that they, I want them to move, the spine needs to extend or arch. Right. So it's not like a lot of people look at the arch and say, oh, it's back to the lower back. It's not the lower back that I'm arching, it's the upper back that I'm arching. Okay, where's my other question? <clears throat> so, same setup again, with a slide back. So your head is off the bench. One more, one more, one more. Good. Feet back, up on the balls of the feet. Feet, feet further back, feet further back. Um, get further back, get further back, so your head's off the bench. Good. Now bring your feet back about an inch. Good. Now push the heels down and, and kind of relax motion. But heels down that slide to me. Keep the heels down for the entire time. One more, one more, one more. Good girl. Now, pick your line. Wider, wider, right in that line. Cool. Now I want you to hold your breath the whole time. No exhaling until we're done with the set. The Excuse whole set? Me. The whole set. Five reps, one oh, breath. Okay. Five reps, one breath. Okay. Squeeze that back as hard as you can. Ready? Hold your breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Heels down. Let's go. Pull the bar apart. Heels down, heels down. Good. Keep holding your breath. Good girl, good girl. Two. Hold your breath. Three. Keep pushing those heels down. Four. Just down, just down. Good job. Nice. <laughs> now you can breathe. Great. <laughs> How does that feel? Good. Okay. Yeah. Now, one thing that I do see that I want to change a little bit. So you're very rigid. There's a lot of techniques that are taught. So, so you're doing this very correctly according to a textbook, but it's not the textbook that I would have written. Right. <laughs> okay, so there's a technique in bench pressing um, where you're supposed to tuck your elbows to protect your shoulders and you're doing that a little bit too well. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit exaggerated. I want you to relax them a little bit more and just the position that you're in, the arch position and the re retraction and depression of your scapula is naturally paired with external rotation of the shoulder joints. So they will tuck naturally. Right. Don't force a tuck. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what you're looking for when you're forcing a tuck, <clears throat> there's the hand, there's the elbow. The elbow needs to be exactly underneath the hand and right. it's not. Okay, so there's no efficiency. See how I'm standing? My whole weight is stacked over my joints. I'm not leaning forward like this. Okay, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that's not efficient. And that's what you're doing by, by tucking the elbows too much. It becomes a, a tricep movement. Yeah. Okay, so on the next set, try and relax so you're not tucking. The next thing is those wrists. They're too perfect. <laughs> okay, they're very straight, but that's not strong. I want you to think of this. If you got really angry at me and you needed to hit me in the face as hard as you could, what part of your hand would you do? So imagine that. Okay, yeah, your hand would be cocked back. You wouldn't be here, you'd break your fingers. Okay, you'd want to hit with this part of your hand. So I don't know if you can see the discoloration in my hand. Right there, that's a callus from, from bench pressing. Okay. Okay, um, I compare this with the best bench presser in the world. His name's Kirill Sarchev, and he's got the same thing. You're pushing through the part that lines up with your ulna. Okay, so that's the, that's the strongest part. You're not holding it in this part of your hand, and when your wrist is straight, it's resting on your thumb. It's not strong. Right. Okay, so <clears throat> when you grab it, don't don't be so rigid. Okay, so let the wrist come back a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go up just a little bit. Okay. Um, you know what I like to do between opposing muscle group. Okay. Do 10 reps here. That should be really easy for you. That's it. Keep going, keep going. You know how to do it. So this is the position that I'm after in a bench press with the shoulder blades back and down towards the back pockets. You know that pull down, you go to a full stretch position, but then you bring them back and down towards the back pockets. And that's where I want you to hold it through the entire bench. <clears throat> Do you get any pain in your wrist? Never. Okay. Let, let, let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> if it starts to hurt at all, because I'm asking you now to, to slightly bend your wrist back. So where you need to put your hand out, where you need to be holding it is, is through here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's where the pressure needs to be. Not through here. That's weak, that's strong. All right. So same thing, sit at the edge of the bench, good girl. Lay down, slide back so your head is off the bench. More, 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 good. Bring your feet back. I'll tell you a few things we're looking for. At the end of the position, the final setup, I want the sole of the foot to be 45 degrees. If it's a little bit more, a little bit less, that's fine, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. If it's too much or too little, it, you won't get the maximum tension. So about 45 degrees here. So the reason why we slide back is so that we can get our feet far back enough, okay? Now, uh, bring your feet back a little bit more. We've got now put your heels down, keep going. Heels down, now slide to me. Good, heels down, heels down, good. Shoulder blades back and down, as hard as you can. I want three reps, don't tuck your elbows. Let them go where they want to go. So if anything, you I'd say even think about flaring them a little bit. Okay, good. Pinky on the line, pinky on the line. Here we go. Okay, shoulder blades back and down. Okay, sorry, draw strings in your face. Okay, ready, ready, big breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Heels down, heels down, shoulder blades back and down. Pull the bar apart, clear the elbows a little bit. Clear the elbows a little bit. Let's go. Clear the elbows, good girl. Two more, two more. Clear the elbows, yes, one more. Perfection. 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 <laughs> how, how did that feel? Um, surprisingly stronger, actually, yeah. No surprise to me, Not though. surprising to you, to me. No, because that's, that's the correct alignment. All it is is just perfect alignment. Okay, so I keep on saying it's like I'm standing stacked over my joints. I want the hand over the elbow. Okay, so when you've flared slightly, like, trust me, you're tucked enough. The reason why we tuck the elbows is to get lats on and also to create space for all of the tendons to pass freely through the shoulder. Okay, when the elbows are flared at 90 degrees, we're, we're closing the space between the humerus and the acromion. So there's no room for the supraspinatus tendon to pass through. Okay, so we just need to tuck it a little bit. That's it. And also, we need to just tuck a little bit to get the lats on. Not too much. Okay, they're still on just with a little bit of tucking, and that's perfect. Uh, go back to the lat pull-down again. I like to pair the lat pull down with this uh, for two reasons. We're getting twice the workout in the same time. Uh, and, and also, it teaches the shoulders where to move exactly where I want them to be for that, uh, for that bench press. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what set this is, but we're up to 40 kilograms and we're moving quite slowly. So we're going in uh, five kilo jumps. I know that this is a weight that you can do, but if we jump too quickly when we're learning a new technique, you revert back to your old technique. So we don't want that to happen, okay? Sitting on the edge of the bench, laying down, sliding your head back so your head is off the bench, bringing your feet back, get up on the balls of your feet, good girl. Push the heels down and maintain that downwards pressure the whole time. Pink, pink on the line, good girl. Slide towards me, heels down. Good girl, heels down, heels down, heels down. Shoulder blades back and down. Take a big breath, I want two reps. Ready, big breath. Shoulder blades back and down, shoulder blades back and down, heels down, heels down, heels down. Flare the elbows, pull the bar apart. You go, one more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. You go. Good. Yeah, so, so how does it feel in the heel of the hand? Good. Okay, fantastic. So it's a misinterpretation. Okay, it's like, don't hurt the wrist, so we keep the wrists straight. But the wrists are made to bend. Right. Uh, don't cock them all the way back, that's just inefficient. <clears throat> so, so, everyone at home, that part of the hand is in line with the ulna. If you were to hit someone in the face, like me, if I annoyed you, you'd want to hit me with that part of the hand. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go do some of that pull downs. Okay, 45 kilograms, another five kilo jump. Same thing. Sit at the edge of the bench. Lay down, slide back so your head's off the bench. More, 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 more. Good. Pinky on the line. Feet back, up on the balls of the feet. Push the heels down. Keep that downwards pressure the whole time. Shoulder blades back and down. Big breath, hold your breath. Shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down. Heels down, hold your breath. Heels down, hold your breath. Pull the bar apart. Let's go. One more. Yes. Very nice. I like to grab it. To grab that rope. Now, clench your fist. Okay, clench it hard. Yep. So the reason why I say clench your fist is so that when I wrap around your wrist, it's not going to break your hand. So let go. Good. 
Cool. So that kind of goes on. Is that uncomfortable? Okay, grab that. Full fist. Cool. Okay. Are we ready? Hold on your thing. Hold on your thing. But hopefully you can go and get your wrist straps when you get home and do yes. the same thing. This will help a lot. Okay, slide back, slide back. Big back. Good. Push your heels down, pink on the line. Good, slide into position. Uncomfortable? No, just different. Okay, it is different, it is different. But it's going to be helpful. Okay. Heels down, shoulder blades back and down, squeeze them back and down as hard as I can. That's number one for you now. Okay, ready? Hold your breath. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, harder, shoulder blades back, harder. Good job. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Let's go. Hold your breath and do rest. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Good job. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Heels down. What I need for her to do is keep her shoulder blades back and down as hard as possible. And what she's doing, and, and what most people actually do when they're learning this technique, is engage their pecs to hold that weight, which protracts the shoulder blades, which takes you out of position. So what you need to do, it's like when I'm standing here, it's like, what muscles am I using? Well, none. I'm just resting on my bones. I want you to do the same thing. So what are those bones that you're resting on? You're resting through your arm, the arm, the, 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 this bone here, that's a humerus, sits in the scapula, and the scapula is sitting here. You're squeezing your shoulder blades back and down towards your back pockets, the scapula's here, the bone's here. That's a stable base of support. The moment the shoulder blade protracts, that scapula moves off the bench, and there's much less support. So you're using muscles, not structure. I don't stand like this. This is me standing on my muscles. I stand on structure, so that's what I want on the next set. Okay, a little bit more efficiency. So that's 50 kilos for two. Easy as, we go to 55 next. Cool. Okay. So now the feedback for, for her is to keep her shoulder blades back and down. Okay, so remember that. So you, you're going to want to use your pec muscles, but don't. You've got to trust that I'm holding that weight and you're going to rest it on the structure. How do you do that? Squeeze it back and down as hard as you can. Don't use your pecs to hold that weight. Use your structure to hold that weight, okay? Lock the elbows, pull the shoulder blades back and down as hard as possible. And I'm going to gently release it into your hands. I've got you, okay? okay? All right, let's do it. Let's do two reps again. Okay, slide back, slide back, so the head's off the bench. Bring the feet back, get up on the balls of the feet. Push the heels down, good. Slide into position, heels down hard. Really good, shoulder blades back and down as hard as they can, heels down even harder. Take a big breath. Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back. I've got the weight, I've got the weight. Shoulder blades back harder, shoulder blades back harder. Good girl, hold. Let's go, hold your breath, two reps. Pull the bar apart, heels down, heels down, heels down. Good, one more. Heels down, heels down, heels down, heels down, heels down. Good job, nice. Very good. So when you're learning a new skill, just do it as easily as possible. Introduce new cues later. Okay, so, so just touch and go, touch and go. And then, and then as you get better than that, you'd, you'd add pause work in your training as well as unpaused work. They're both effective. But pause work is what you do in competition. Right. Are you competing? Exactly. So, you know, it's, it's a good stimulus to do pause with anything. You squat with the deadlift with the bench press as well, but it's not an absolute one. Okay. Grab. Full fist. What are you going to add there? Cool. Full fist. Full fist. Okay. Okay. Don't, like, it's not going anywhere. So, so don't push it up with your pecs. Just, just keep pulling that back hard and I'll, just trust me, I'm going to put it in the perfect position. I'm going to hold it and I'm only going to let go when I know you've got it. Okay. Okay, so just have faith here. <clears throat> Two reps, just touch and go. Okay. Alright. Okay, sitting on the edge of the bench. Slide back so your head's off the bench. Bring your feet back up onto the balls of the feet. Push the heels down. Good. Slide into position. Heels down hard. Good. Heels down, heels down. Shoulder blades back and down. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Shoulder blades back and down. Big breath. Shoulder blades back and down. 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 Good. Heels down. 
Let's go. Heels down, heels down, heels down, straight up. Good, and again. Heels down, heels down, heels down, straight up. Back towards me. Good job. Nice. So good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, you can talk to us. Um, I don't want to go heavier. Yeah. Maybe we'll do another set. Yeah. Maybe we can try three reps. Okay. Okay, so, so where I saw that go wrong slightly yeah. is the bar path now. You're doing everything perfectly, but the bar path kind of went down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I said, back towards me. Okay, so, so that's how you go through. But not too much back towards me, but just don't let it go down. Yeah, do another set back towards that, and we're going to come back and go for a triple okay. in five minutes. And then that's it. Okay. Just be conscious of it for the next one, because okay. this is the big one. So the next one I knew you had, um, so I, I wasn't enforcing a lot of things, it was just like doing, doing what you're comfortable with as long as we're getting the job done. But yeah. now to get this third rep, like now we're pushing in, yeah. I need you to do everything right. And that's, okay. that's what will help a lot. <laughs> okay, it's holding that breath. Okay. Okay, right. you ready? Yeah. So, hold on to the rope. Let's do this. So, what I'm gonna get you to do is exaggerate everything now. I'm gonna make you a little bit more uncomfortable. So we're gonna slide back even further, bring the feet back even further, shove the heels down even harder, pull the shoulder blades back and down even harder, and hold your breath all the time. Okay. I'll, I'll step you through it. Okay, I know there's a lot to remember. Sit on the edge of the bench. Let's do this, big step. Okay, slide down. Slide back, a bit further than usual, a bit further than usual. Bring the feet back, a little bit further than usual. There is a little bit more. Good, heels down hard, shoulder blades down, and down. Okay, slide into position, heels down, slide. Good, heels down as hard as I go, as hard as I go, shoulder blades back and down, even harder. Okay, take a big breath, hold your breath. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Let's go, heels down, let's go. Light touch and go, let's go. Heels down, good go. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Let's go, you got this. Heels down, heels down, heels down. Back towards me, back towards me, back towards me. Yeah! Woo! Okay, that was a very simple bench press program. So all we did was worked up to pretty much one or two top sets. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of other work, but that's a little bit of a behind the scenes on how I teach the competition style arch the way that I teach it. How did that feel for you? It felt great actually, it felt much more efficient than what I'm used to. So that's good feedback. So now the homework for her is to do it a little bit more. Um, for those who don't already know, I'm sure you're already following, but yeah. where can we find you? You're on social media, you're on Instagram? Instagram, yeah, at Katie Crew. Give her a follow and check how her progress goes in the future. Thanks guys. Thank you so much. Thanks Katie. Thanks. <laughs> okay, now I know we just did an outro video, but I can assure you we did a little bit of work after that. And my amazing videographer has just shown me that he captured in our highlight session a few of her back down sets that I did with Katie. And I'm gonna show you guys so that you know the exact homework that I've given her. So I'm not gonna go into the technique details. That was all done in the main work. She got up to a 60 kilogram, a set of 60 kilograms for three reps, which was great. After this, uh, we dropped the weight. I didn't think about percentages or anything like that. I thought of a weight that's gonna be nice and easy for her to perform with perfect technique for a lot of reps. And the way that I prescribe my loads for my programs is I start with a conservative weight so that it gives them room to be able to progress every week. So check out the video. We started her on 40 kilograms and I got her to do three sets of eight reps on 40 kilograms. Um, why eight reps? Because it's a good enough rep range to be able to practice that movement with a weight that she can respect. Have a look at what she's doing. I like to work them up to a relatively heavy weight and then ingrain that technique. Once we've mastered the technique, we've got to do reps and reps and reps of it. Uh, how many reps? 10,000 reps, that's the rule. Um, not in the same session, of course. She just needs to practice it a lot with a weight that she can respect. So that's 40 kilograms, so that's quite light. 
based on the way that she's moving this, the homework that I've given her is next week to go up to 45, the week after, go up to 50. And I'm sure that you'll agree, she will be able to do that. Uh, 50 kilograms obviously is going to be a lot more challenging than this, but I know that she's got the strength to do this, especially after a few good weeks of solid practice with this perfect technique. So we've only captured two sets, but I promise you, we did three. Now, I'm gonna pause it right here, so that's two sets done. Give her a nice fist bump, boom. Good stuff, Katie. Now, pause it here. We go on to her supplementary movements. Now, unfortunately, we've only got a couple of reps here, but you can see the exercise that I've given her is a seated dumbbell shoulder press. So something that I like to prescribe after my main work, so her main work is the bench press. Now we move on to the supplementary lifts. The supplement, my rules for prescription of supplementary movements is to choose an exercise that goes through the range of motion and the joint angles that I've neglected in the main work. So the main work was an arch bench press competition style, which is actually a reduced range of motion. And it's in a horizontal push plane. So what do I want to do? A joint angle that we haven't used in the main movement, which is a vertical push plane. So it's my favorite accessory exercise in the push pattern is to do the joint angle that you've neglected in the main work. So we did horizontal in the main work. We're going to do vertical in the supplementary movement. And I like to do dumbbells as well because the dumbbell allows us to do a few things. One, it allows us to go through a longer range of motion without the bar hitting our chest like it did in the bench press. And two, it's going to allow us to change the grip angle so that we can use a neutral grip. That's my favorite grip for all of my dumbbell variations for a number of reasons. One, it's better for your shoulder health. Two, it allows you to angle the dumbbells in a way to go through a longer range of motion without hitting your chest or your shoulders or, or anywhere on your body. And three, it's a much safer position for your shoulders to be externally rotated in that full stretch position. So that is my favorite way of performing a dumbbell press. Check it out, I'll press play. You only see two reps here, but I promise you, she also did three sets of eight. Uh, what's that weight there? She's got 10 kilograms. Again, it's a very light weight, something that she's going to be able to progress from. So the next increment from there is 12 and a half kilograms. Usually, uh, most gyms all around the world go up in about uh, two and a half kilo increments. So that was my recommendation for her next session. So that's it. Now this is the proper outro. That was Pimp My Lift. That was session two actually. Last week I did myself. Uh, this week I did Katie Crew. Thank you so much Katie for joining me on Pimp My Lifts. Thank you for letting me pimp your lift. And I hope you guys at home enjoyed watching that. Click like, subscribe, comment below if there's anything that you'd like me to or any person that you'd like me to pimp their lifts on our next series. Um, I am reading all of the comments, so comment away. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.